Some Sun Coast students got an up-close look at global issues. Dozens of juniors and seniors from Sarasota's Booker High School combined forces with young minds at the Outdoor Academy to tackle some of the biggest obstacles facing other nations. SNN Local News reporter Rob Wells has their story. Class turns into a global summit Wednesday at the Out of Door Academy at Lakewood Ranch. Students here spend their day focusing on international conflicts, specifically those in Rwanda. So when I think it's important that kids learn about what really went on and role playing kind of adds another depth to that. But it's also important to just learn how to compromise because kids so often don't want to. The program is led by Boston University professor and best selling author Carl Hobart. We're trying to get students to raise their IQ in terms of what's going on in the world and several important points within raising global IQ. Number one, communication. Students from both the Academy and Booker High School brainstorm for resolve and peace for those in Rwanda near its borders with Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Everyone thinks like these problems are so distant from us, but in fact, when we're in a situation where we have to learn and care about it, we all get so passionate. It teaches us not to be bystanders because a lot of the country and a lot of the world is just bystanders. Those on hand watch films depicting the atrocities and divide in those parts of the world. While the conflict may be thousands of miles away, the concern and emotions from these future leaders is clear. Those heading up the program say that they hope that the global issues that students are discussing here are things that they take with them all through life. Uh, history is what happened to us in the past, and if we don't know what happened to us in the past, we can't possibly go forward in the future. In Lakewood Ranch, Rob Wells, SNN Local News. Well, the resolutions these students come up with in class will now be sent to leaders in Rwanda, as well as our nation's capital for the president and secretary of state to review.